Welcome to Sandwiches of History. It is Guest Host Friday, and today our guest host comes to us all the way from the Great White North, Shalena Switzer. Now, she's a longtime uh, follower of Sandwiches of History, and when she asked for a recipe, I gave her a recipe, and it turns out she hates one of the main ingredients and has never had the other one. Everybody who guest hosts has the right to say no to a recipe that I send them. So, just, you know, yeah. Take it away, Shalena. Hi, Barry. It's Shalena here. Thanks for having me on Sandwiches of History as a guest host. I'm really excited to try this sandwich today. I don't think I'm going to like it, but I'm going to try it anyways. Today we're making the beet and egg sandwich from Salads and Sandwiches of 1917. I don't like beets. I've never tried a hard-boiled egg, so this will be an adventure for the palate. Let's get into it. Okay, to our chopped hard-boiled eggs, we are to season with salt. Don't know how much. Pepper. Is that enough? Let's go a berry amount size of pepper. There we go. And some melted butter. Put that a mix through. No amounts were given, but it says to add approximately half of the amount of eggs to beets. I don't know if I said that properly. We're adding our beets. Quarter cup of beets to half a cup of eggs. Give that a mixy mix. All right, and then we put our mixture onto buttered bread. It didn't say what kind of bread, which is fortunate because I have to have gluten-free bread. So that's what we're using. Okay, let's try this and egg sandwich. Mm -mm. <laughs> I don't love it. It's actually my first like couple chews was a lot of beet which I didn't like but it's actually it's not that bad. Okay I've got some ideas for some plus ups. I'm gonna do three different things. I'm going to put bacon on one. Bacon and egg seems obvious. I'm gonna spice it up a little bit with some Frank's Red Hot on one. And I'm gonna do mayonnaise and lettuce on one. Also, I don't eat mayonnaise, I eat Miracle Whip, which is better in my opinion. Okay, let's try these plussed up versions. I'm going to try the beaten egg sandwich plussed up with Miracle Whip and a piece of lettuce first. Mm -hmm. Much better, I needed that crunch. I'm gonna go to the one with bacon now. Bacon and eggs and beets. Mmm, oh, so good. Actually, the bacon's just overpowering everything. It just tastes like a bacon sandwich. Now the beet and egg sandwich, blessed up. The frames were top. Okay, here's the roundup. The original beet and egg sandwich was not as bad as I was thinking it was going to be. I don't know how to put that on a scale of one to 10, but let's just throw that right in the middle. I'm gonna say the original was a five. Plus up with the Miracle Whip and lettuce. That's the sandwich I would actually make again and eat. I would say that's like a seven and a half. Plus up with bacon, kind of lost the whole beaten egg situation. So was it beaten egg, it was just bacon. I don't know how to rank that either. Let's throw that as a five. It's in the middle of the road. Plus up with the Frank's Red Hot, did not work at all. Did not improve the sandwich. I would say that bumped it down to like a two and a half or a three. Not good, did not enjoy, would not recommend. If you like hard boiled eggs and beets, this probably is a better than a five sandwich for you. Maybe I would recommend, but for me, I'm not gonna make it again. Thank you so much, Barry. I had a blast doing this. I really enjoyed making a sandwich I didn't think I would like and eating on camera for you. Thanks a lot. Bye.